Hey everyone. I'm gonna do this as quickly as I can because I don't know if my mom's gonna be showing back up for work or not real soon. Uh, her schedule is kind of a little off to me when it comes to her job. I mean, she's either getting off at 5, coming home, or she's getting off at 4.30, coming home, so I don't really know. But, um, I, I thought I'd talk about something here for a second. Now, we all know on Monday, a lot of fans went to Twitter afterwards and pretty much called BS on the ending of the Charlotte Nikki Bella match. A lot of people even went as far as to blame John Cena for the outcome. Now, whether that's true or not, that's their opinion. But, as I said in my video on that day, I said by the time you watched that video, they would have either pulled the trigger or not. They would have either kept Nikki champion or they would have given it to Charlotte. Now, obviously through a dusty finish, as they call it, that didn't occur. Charlotte ended up retaining, keeping the belt, and thus became the longest running, the longest reigning Divas Champion of all time. But, hold on a sec. But, as a lot of us probably know, hold on for a second. As a lot of us probably know, A lot of fans were not too thrilled with the ending, like I said. And as a lot of us know, it pretty much shows the WWE, which I mentioned I'd hope they'd try to show that they were the bigger man, show that they still have bitterness towards CM Punk. And that they're taking it out on AJ and her reign as long as Divas longest reigning Divas champion because of it. Now, I mean, this is as, I mean, and, and you want to know how far this goes? Recently at Wizard World in San Jose, which I guess was this past, which was yesterday or something like that, a fan asked Paige if she felt that what WWE did was because of CM Punk. Now, Paige, thankfully, said, Overall, she doesn't want anything to do with that. She doesn't want to have the heat put on her because of something she might say. Now, well, basically, she just didn't want any part of it. And as she also said she didn't want any heat on her for what she might say. Now, whether or not saying she doesn't want any heat on her indicates that maybe she doesn't agree with it, okay, that's fine. You know, that's fine, okay? No problem. No problem. But, here's what's, here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy. Well, not crazy, but here's what's more ironic. Recently, Tommy Dreamer and Taz were at the WWE Studios, I guess, filming for an upcoming network special or documentary. And Vince McMahon went up to Tommy Dreamer, I guess thinking he was Bubba Ray, and said, put that damn New Day through a table at Night of Champions. Now, what that could mean is anybody's guess. But apparently, it sounds like Vince McMahon also probably read or heard 
about Big E's tweets. See, Big E on Twitter, even though he deleted it later, I guess, didn't like the fact that Nikki had broken AJ's record. So I guess upon hearing that, Vince McMahon is not too thrilled with New Day, especially Big E. So, does that mean we're going to have new tag team champions on Sunday? Possibly. Possibly. And maybe it's going to probably teach Big E that, yeah, you may not agree with it, but uh, it's best you don't say anything at all, especially if you got your boss that probably reads your tweets at times. You know what I'm saying? So, again, not a lot of people, even those within the business, are thrilled with Nikki Bella surpassing AJ. Because they pretty much feel that it shows that the WWE is, you know, doesn't have the cojones, as they call it, or the grapefruits to, the grapefruits to move on and let bygones be bygones. Just move on. You know, she had nothing to do with CM Punk doing what he did. Yes, yeah, she left and retired, as she put it, to pursue other things, even though you believe it's because she chose to be with CM Punk. The, the truth is, the truth is, you shouldn't take your anger out on this girl and, what, and the legacy she left behind. You shouldn't do that. You should let bygones be bygones. But, But they didn't let that happen, and it shows they're still very bitter. And you know, there's an old saying that people always throw around to those that are bitter. They just can't let go of a grudge. And that is, grow up. Be a bigger man. Because after what, because after what they did this past Monday, it pretty much indicates that Nikki's going to lose on Sunday. It does. It indicates she's going to lose on Sunday. And as I said before in my previous video, I'll say again. Fans are going to look at her championship reign, and they're going to look at her being the longest reigning champion, and they're going to do what the WWE is doing to Hogan, they've done to CM Punk, and have rightfully done to Chris Benoit, and that, they, and that is fans are going to do what the WWE does to those two, and especially rightfully to the third one, and that is wipe Nikki Bella's reign as champion from existence. Now, in the WWE record books, in history books, it'll indicate she's the longest reigning Divas champion. But, fans are going to wipe it from the psyche. People that feel that she didn't deserve to be champion for that long are going to wipe it from the psyche. Those that are on the inside of the business, from those at OneWrestlingVideo.com, OneWrestling.com, to people like Lance Storm, and others, whether they're alumni, retired or semi-retired professionals, they're all going to wipe Nikki Bella's, who don't agree with what happened on Monday, are all going to wipe Nikki Bella's reign as champion from existence. They're not going to think about it. They're not even going to recall her being champion. Because a lot of people have indicated that Nikki Bella is such a forgettable champion. Some even say that she's in the category of the cat. And let's not forget, the cat was women's champion. Not for long, but she was. So they're basically saying, hey, we're going to take the same concept that WWE wants to take towards CM Punk and Hulk Hogan, and we're going to Benoit Nikki Bella's title ring. We're going to bend what? We're going to forget it ever existed? And if someone comes up to us and says, Hey, did you know Nikki Bella was the longest reigning Divas champion? We'll be like, Really? I don't remember her being the longest reigning champion of all time. I don't remember that. Maybe it's because of, well, if, you know, I don't, I don't really remember. She was? Oh, yeah, she was. Well, I don't remember her being the longest reigning champion because maybe her title reign was so forgettable. I don't remember it. That is how people are going to be. They're going to be like, I don't remember her being champion. Do you remember her being champion? No, nope, I don't remember. No. If, it, you know, if she was, man, and if she was, man, you know, obviously her reign was so forgettable, I can believe he forgot she was ever champion.
Fans are going to do that. Fans are going to come out and they're going to acknowledge that she never was champion. They're going to wipe it from the memory. It may be in the history books. It may be seen on WWE Network for years to come. But as time goes on, they're going to erase it from the memories. To them, it's not going to matter. That reign, to them, is meaningless, it's forgettable, and they're going to completely bend what? And that's the truth. And everybody knows that. Everybody knows that's to be the truth. That they're going to completely bend what? This entire situation. They're not going to want, they're not going to want to have, have anything to do with it. They're not. They're going to be like, I don't remember her being champion. That's how they're going to react. Even though some fans will come up and say, yeah, she was. Don't you remember? They're not going to want to remember. All because to them, WWE didn't show that they were the bigger man. True, she may not have many title defenses. True, she may have not been as polished in the ring as she, she would, as someone hoped she should be. But the truth of the matter is this. They would forgive her being at least on top alongside AJ as the longest reigning Divas champion if the WWE had the balls in their eyes to show that they were the bigger men and let Charlotte walk out with the championship on Sunday. I mean on Monday. Because pretty much by not doing that, even if, let's say, Nikki could have gotten her title back on Sunday at Night of Champions, it shows the WWE is still hypocritical, still bitter towards CM Punk. It's almost like, it's almost like they want CM Punk to come back to WWE and say, like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Please forgive me. Okay, you're forgiven, and your wife will remain Divas Champion for the, will remain the longest reigning Divas Champion. That's pretty much what they want. Or, either that, they want AJ to come back and say, Oh, I've decided I'm going to divorce CM Punk. That's what they want. And because it's not happening, this happens. They still show that they're bitter. Now, does it pave the way for Charlotte to win the title? Yes, it does. Does it put more heel heat on Nikki Bella to be a heel champion? Does it give somewhat of this storyline in the Divas Revolution meaning? Yes, it does. Because pretty much, if from a story perspective, you look at the Divas Revolution and you see that the Bellas are the main obstacle from this, are the main obstacle from this revolution really taking off, then from a storyline perspective, it shows that the Bellas don't want this revolution around and that the Bellas are not as good as they say they are because they, they have to keep depending on each other to help Nikki re regain the belt or retain the belt. Now, it's definitely a foregone conclusion, with the stipulation and everything added in, that if they try to pull Trend Magic on Sunday, it's going to backfire. So, we'll have to see what happens. But, to me, this is a situation that, despite how you feel about it, I mean, what's done is done. You know, WWE has no one to blame but themselves. And they're going to have no one to blame but themselves when people, like I say, start Ben in Nikki Bella's title reign. And because, like I said, when people come up and ask them if they knew Nikki Bella was the longest reign Divas champion, they're going to look at them like, what are you talking about? I don't remember her being the longest reign Divas champion. I don't remember her being champion at all. That's how they're going to react. All because WWE didn't want to be the bigger man. So, we'll see what happens on Sunday, but I think it's a foregone conclusion that she only remained champion for as long as she did so they could break the record and then give it to Charlotte. Why? Because they have that much bitterness towards CM Punk that they're taking it out on AJ. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. And I am out.